right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we're going to start out by giving our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakodash. Your double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS, salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching the truth. All right, I'm Yaqanun. You know Allah. I'm the brother Kodash. All right, and we got a quick lesson today just going into prayer is the key. All right, <clears throat> and that's that's a it, it's a simple saying, but it's the truth, man. All right, prayer is the key, man. Because if you're not praying in this faith, man, you're gonna soon fall out, man. You gotta pray for strength, man. All right, oh, hey, just like the lesson we just did, man, the, uh, praying for the strength to endure. You gotta pray for that, man. You know, if you're just going in this thing, man, thinking you know you don't have to pray, man, you ain't gonna make it, man. You are gonna soon fall out. <clears throat> but uh, we got some scriptures lined up. Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. Let's start off with that uh, definition, though. Huh. Get the definition of prayer. Huh. This is the definition of prayer in the etymology dictionary, and it goes into uh, 13th century. It says, it says earnest request, mm -hmm. entreaty, uh, entreaty, petition, and it goes into also the practice of praying, praying. Or of communing with the Most High, prayer petition, uh, and it says obtained by prayer given as a favor mm -hmm. to ask, beg, pray. To ask, to beg, pray. That's basically what you're doing when you're praying. You 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 begging the Lord, man. You're coming humbly, uh, a head down, palms open, on your knees, you know, begging the Most High. And like we were just speaking on before uh, uh, we turned the camera on, man, that's that's our power, man. That's our power source, okay? Is 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 the Heavenly Father, how about Shema Oshai, our connection with him, all right? We, we don't have a carnal uh, uh, power source, man. Our, our power is spiritual, man, all right? So uh, let's, let's get the scripts. <clears throat> this is James chapter 5. Starting in verse 16, it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray. It's a like it. And pray for one another. It's a like it. It's a like it. Hold on. Take your time, bro. Yeah. This is uh this is James chapter 5 and verse verse 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man uh revealeth much yeah yeah hey because hey when brothers pray for each other man that helps man the lord here here's those prayers man mm -hmm. you know the lord hey when it's and I, i'm a witness to that man well, I, i've been through uh some things this the short time i've been in this truth man and brothers praying for me like times when i was down and out and sick and, and and just catching hell, man. And brothers put it out there, man. Hey, pray for me, brother. Pray, uh, hey, this brother uh, down, man. And those prayers, man. Hey, you feel it. You know the Lord is like, yeah. man. Hey, he 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 pull you up out of there. He he he'll give you some strength where you didn't even know. They ain't know you had, man. But what what that come from, man? That the prayers of the uh, of the righteous, man. Like you just was reading, you know. All those brothers praying sincerely in the name of Yahweh by Shema Oshai, man. You know? <clears throat> you got it. Next one. This is, uh, this is Luke. This is Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. And it reads, and it reads, and he spake, he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought. This is uh this is Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. And the reason he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Yeah, men are always to pray and not to faint, man. And that's that's what uh one thing you should pray for is the is the uh spirit not to faint, man. Get Psalms 51, bro. And uh 11, brother know what it is. Yeah. Hey, you you should pray not to not to uh not to faint, man. Not to, uh, you know, fall out, man. The spirit mm -hmm. to endure, to keep going. Mm -hmm. King David did it. We're about to read it. 
This is Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence yep. and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. That That's that's what you should pray for, man. Lord, please don't take your spirit away. Man. Please give me the spirit. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, give me the spirit to uh, continue to endure in this faith. To continue to fight. You know? Uh, Was it more? Yep. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation mm. and uphold me with thy free spirit. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey, hey, the Lord, the Lord is is dealing if you if you believe, man. You gotta that, that takes faith, man. Yeah. To trust and believe that hey, he 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 gonna he gonna answer this prayer. He gonna he gonna he, he with me. Yeah. You know? The Lord is with me, man. I just gotta, you know, just keep going. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't I can't throw the towel in, man. Right. You know? He didn't bring me this far to leave me. Right. <laughs> that old church song. That's real though, man. Lord didn't bring us this far to leave us, man. You know? We're in this thing for a reason. You know? You got it, brother. Yeah, this is uh this is Galatians chapter six and verse nine. Mm -hmm. And it reads, And let us not be weary in well doing for <coughs> in for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Mm -hmm. See? In due season, hey, that 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 uh prayers are gonna be answered, man. Lord willing, we are the elect, man. Hey, if you've been praying for that, man, and you seeing yourself constantly next level, you getting to you passing it. Mm -hmm. That chastisement the Lord put on you, but you getting through mm -hmm. every time. Through what? Prayer. You praying for the strength, man. You know? You're not praying that 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 uh you can get out of the situation of uh, uh you know, duck or die or something. Hey, yeah, I was shy. He he did, he he prayed to uh to the heavenly father man to what if if, if this cup uh if, if has to pay can it is it any other way basically mm -hmm. <clears throat> roughly paraphrasing and once he saw hey that hey the heavenly father didn't answer man hey i gotta go through this man mm -hmm. but ultimately man like we uh got in the last lesson man we we already had a victory through your house shy sacrifice man mm -hmm. okay we just gotta endure you know, so you got to pray for strength, man. You got to pray. Praying, period, man. <clears throat> you know, that's this is uh, uh, something our ancestors did, you know, and it was, you know, that was, this was our custom, man. It was was praying, man. Praying to the Heavenly Father. That's part of, part of our customs, man. All right? You know, that's one thing Apostle uh, Ricard, he, he speaks on heavily. It's prayer. You know, brothers got to pray. You know, that made me think of that uh that old MC Hammer song. Y'all probably too young to remember. You got to pray just to make it today. Mm. <clears throat> he had a song called Pray. Mm. And Jake was in the A. Hey, he was in the right spirit. And nigga ended up broke. But you know, he, he understood that. You gotta pray, shit. Especially now, how much more now, man? Mm. In the times we living in, where you got, you know. Uh, uh, niggas out here willing to do anything, man, for for a dollar, uh, you know, to just do do something for likes, man. Yeah. Jake will do shit now just to get some views, man, just to yeah. get his name out there. So hey, this place is is fully consumed in wickedness, man. We gotta pray daily, man. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's keep going. Yeah. What else we got? Yeah, that was it. All right, this is Matthew chapter six. Um, starting at verse 4, it says, um, it's verse 5, it says, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as a hypocrite are, for thy love, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Right. Hey, just like in these harlot houses, man, you have, uh, you know, you have uh, men and women, they get up in front of that church and you know, do those big long prayers and get to sweating and, you know, doing it to be seen of men, man. They're not sincere, you know. Hey, just, uh, damn, is that Elon? No, nah, that's not Elon. Ishmael. Mm -hmm. They go out, lay, the, they lay their little carpet down, go out and pray. Or, you know, they're doing it 10, 11 times a day. They're doing, well, I, they praying to no one, but... <laughs> 
they're doing it in vain anyway. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, man, you ain't you ain't supposed to be doing that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Just trying to be seen of men, man. Mm -hmm. Out in the open like that. You know? <clears throat> Keep going, bro. It say, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. See? They got their reward. Because what? You got people uh, uh, looking at them. Oh, man. Oh, boy. He, 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 that's a man, of, uh, he, a man of faith right there. Mm -hmm. You know, he praying. He, he, you know, he doing this, man. That's just like Jake, you know, trying to uh, uh, fast. But then you going around with the look on your face, you all fresh to Yeah. Ugh. yeah you know, you got Jake in, yeah. man. He got he got to make the faces and stuff. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's wrong? What's wrong, brother? You yeah. all right? Yeah. yeah, man. You know, just going through this five-day fast. Yeah. Ugh. I'm on day five, man. Nothing but, nothing but herbs and water. You're doing that to be seen a man, man. So mm -hmm. you can get, hey, you got your reward, man. Right. You know? But hey, hey. Keep reading. This is about to say it. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father <coughs> which he is in secret <coughs> shall reward thee openly. Yep. See? The Lord, hey, hey, you're praying in secret, man. The Lord will reward you openly. You know? <coughs> we got it. But when ye pray, use not vain repetition. As the heathen do, for yeah. they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Right, just saying the same same things over and over. You basically got got whatever prayer it is you're gonna say. You got it uh, <clears throat> down in your mind every day to just that's my prayer. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna say this and that, and that's it. <clears throat> oh man, you 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 gotta really mean that, man. <clears throat> Like I said, that's what the heathens do, man. Mm -hmm. Was it more? Yeah. Uh, verse 8, it says, Be not ye, be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father know what things ye have need of before ye ask him. See? Oh, the father have, have need. He already know what you want before you even ask him, man. So when you come to him, you got to be sincere. And, and really, you know, the Lord already know what you need. He's just waiting on you. Right. <clears throat> um, yeah, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. Uh, pray and it ceasing. reads, pray without ceasing. Hey, that's, that's, we could have closed on that one. Mm -hmm. That's just point, point blank period, man. Let's get the next one. All right, come on. This is First Corinthians chapter 7. Good light. Chapter seven and verse five. <clears throat> chapter seven, it's like it. chapter seven and verse five. It says, "The fraud, the fraud, you not one another, except it be with cons with consent for a time that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, mm -hmm. and come together again that Satan tempt you not for your for for your uh, innocence." It says, but I speak this by permission and not of commandment. For I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man have his proper gift for the most high, one after this manner and another after that. But yeah, that was the point. Yeah, the point was, uh, yeah, fasting and praying. Why? So you could be <clears throat> girded up, man. The spirit to what? Overcome the uh, temptation of the devils, man, of the devil. I like it, you know. So when we're tempted, man, we're we're, we're built up and we're, we're we're spiritually ready, man, for the, that temptation. Okay, that's why a hey, prayer is the key. <clears throat> it's the key, man. It's always the key to to uh, uh, success, man, and, and anything that you that you do, man. And in this truth, hey, it's prayer, man. Prayer is that key into into success, man. That's that's ultimately uh, 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 what's going to get us through. If we if we praying for endurance, we're praying for that that spirit to overcome. But where the elect, man, hey, the Lord knows what we need, what what we're uh, asking for, man. Mm -hmm. So hey, <laughs> we just got to believe, man. Right. Yep. So let's keep going. This is Acts chapter twelve and verse <clears throat> five. 
And it reads, Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing. Uh, he, that was a hey, that was the uh, prophets, man. Just like we read uh, uh, the prayers of a, a righteous man, mm -hmm. a bailiff a much, mm -hmm. you know. Hey, the Lord hears, hears those prayers, man. You know, and he, he's going to make things happen. Things are going to shake, man. You know? That's why, hey, brothers have to, you have to let brothers know, too, uh, uh, to pray for you, man. You know? You can't just be, you know, that was that was one thing I remember. Uh, you know, I ain't going to say the brother's name, but it was a brother that just, you know, was catching a lot of hell, man. The brother wouldn't never ask brothers to pray for him, man. Now eventually, man, what happened? He fell out. You ain't asking for brothers uh, uh, to pray for you. And I know if you're not asking for brothers to pray for you, you probably ain't praying for yourself. You know? You got to pray. That's the key. How, how the hell you think you're going to continue to keep battling and fighting and moving forward in this faith, man, and you 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 not praying, man? You're not coming to your power source. Man. You're trying to use your own strength. You know, you're going to fail, man. Miserably. <laughs> you got it. And it says, and it says, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto the Most High for him. It says in verse 6, and when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison. Verse verse 7, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on, on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise, arise up quickly. And his chains fell off of, I mean, off from, from his hand. See, the Lord delivered him, man, through what? Those prayers, man. Send an angel to deliver them, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, uh, these things are gonna uh, happen in this in this time too. Brothers gotta be praying, man. We praying for each other, and you praying for yourself. The Lord gonna make miracles happen, man. You know. <clears throat> you get the next one. This is Psalms one forty five, starting at 18, and it reads, "The Lord is not unto all them that call upon Him." Mm. To all that call upon him in truth, yep. he will fulfill the desires of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry mm. and will save them. See, hey, they cry and save them, yeah, man. Yeah. That that that's a prayer of the righteous, man. Because hey, you we're gonna be crying and begging the Lord, man, to save and deliver us. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, hey, what what did it say? Read it one more time. It's, it's from the top. It says, um, this says uh Psalms 145 to 18. The Lord is not unto all them that call upon See, him. He is not upon all them that call upon him, man. So hey, what's the first step to calling upon the Lord? You gotta have the Lord's name, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Get uh Psalms 91. Um you you, you that was the point on that though. Okay. Psalms 91 and uh, I believe it's 8 Psalms 91 and uh, verse what does it say about the name of the Lord uh, I don't trust the Lord let's see Not <clears throat> in verse 14 this is Psalms 91 yep. in verse 14 because he hath set his love upon me therefore will I deliver him Yep. I will set him on high because he have known my name. See, you, you got to know the Lord's name, man. That Who else? How else are you going to know who to pray to, who to call upon? There's going to be a, 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 a million people out here crying for uh, sweet, sweet Jesus, man, in the days and times to come. Not knowing that you crying upon a, 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 a God that cannot save you, man, an idol. Yep. Okay? You, you gonna, you're going to be calling upon the wrong name. But those that hey, that had a fear of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man, and it says, uh, what it said, because he have he has set his love upon me. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, hey, hey, because with that fear, man, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do the things that's pleasing to the Lord, man. Right. Yep. 
Yeah. You know, you're going to show your love through your actions, man. Through your, hey, hey, having faith, man. Yeah. You know? But, uh, get yeah, verse 15 too, bro. Verse 15, he should call upon me and I will answer him. Yeah. I will be with him in trouble. Yeah. I will deliver him and honor him. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Hey, that's that's what we pray for. That's what that's what our hope is, man. Right. That the Lord is gonna be with us and deliver us, man, in that time of trouble. Mm. You know? Yep. We can get those last one. Oh, very cool. Come. This is Psalms 55 and 17. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and mm. cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. Ooh. Hey, cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. The Lord gonna be with us, man. <laughs> man, keep going. Verse eighteen: He have delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. The Most High shall hear and afflict them, even he that abided of old, because they they that have no changes, therefore they they fear not the Most High. All right. But we fear the most high, man. That's the reason we're, we're praying, man, for what? Uh, uh, the strength to endure, man. All right? We're praying for for, for that ability to, to endure in this faith and keep going and keep fighting. All right? Hey, the same prayer uh, uh, we just read with, with King David had in uh, Psalms, the 51st chapter, man. Okay? The Lord uh, continue to deal with us and don't take his spirit away. Hey, because without the spirit of how about Shema Shai, man, in the days and times that, that are coming, you're going to be completely through. All right? But, hey, that's, that all starts with fear and it all starts with, with, with prayer. Okay? Praying to the Most High, man. Okay? So, where we at? First Kings. This is First Kings chapter 8 and verse 28. And it reads, Yet have thou respect unto the prayer of thy servant mm -hmm. and to his supplication. Ooh. O Lord, my power, to hearken unto the cry and to the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee today. Ooh, hey, and that, hey, we, we're praying to the Lord daily, uh, you know, and, and having faith that he's going to answer those prayers, man. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> he gave us a secret. We in the we in the uh, faith, mm -hmm. you know. Why you have to you have to believe, man. The Lord is a hey, He's dealing with you, man. You know, and, and that, that 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 strength and that faith is going to come through what continuing to pray, man. Right. You know, and the Lord, you seeing the Lord answering prayers, man, and and, and, and working things out in your favor. That's going to build up your faith even more. Mm. You know. Seeing the Lord answering prayers, man, things that you you pray for, and you like, man, Lord, man, right. look how the Lord did. Yeah. He, he worked this out for me. Uh, and Ooh. if I may add, it sometimes it be even it be even more surprising when it happened later on. We be like, oh, it still ain't happened, but yeah. next week it happened. Like, oh man, man. Lord, Ooh, hey, come on, show us Hey, what they're saying, the church folk, hey, that he may not come when you want him to, but he always on time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. real. That's yeah. how it's gonna be, man. Yeah. So this is First Peter chapter three and verse twelve. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, Ooh. and His ears are open unto their prayers. Yep, mm. His ears are open unto their prayers, man. The Lord hears those prayers, man. Hey, hey we we already read that He 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 pretty much knows uh uh what you need. <laughs> what 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 you're gonna ask for, okay? So ultimately, you 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 just gotta have the faith and the spirit to uh uh to pray to the Lord to call upon Him, man. Read that again, bro. It says First Peter chapter three and twelve. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, yep. and His ears are open unto their prayers. His but ears the... are open unto their prayers, <laughs> so you hearing it? Mm. Yep. It says, but the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Mm -hmm. uh. 
Hey, the grace of the Lord is against them that do evil, man. Yeah. All right? And hey, hey, we're praying praying against them as well because we want judgment for, for uh, the wicked, man. We want to see the Lord bring bring forth judgment unto the wicked, man. All right? Mm -hmm. For everything they've done to us. You got something. I mean, you got it, brother. This is Psalm 34 and verse 6, and it reads, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him mm -hmm. and saved him out of all his troubles. Yep. Hey, we, Lord willing, we're, we're those men, man. The Lord is going to uh, hear our cries and, and save us and deliver us, man. All right? Did you have something else, brother? Yeah, it come, this right. just kind of back, like, <laughs> backing up the... Uh, like the verse how the Lord is against them like who do evil. Right. And so this is Proverbs 28 and 9. It says, He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Mm. So hey, the Lord hey, is not trying is not hearing those prayer. Two thirds of, of the people of Israel oh, you're acting that. wicked, man. And the Lord is not going to hear your prayers, man, in the time of trouble, in the time of your needs, man. Cause hey, you you been loafing the law while you yet had liberty. Yeah. Hey, so so when that times come, that when that suffering amp up yeah. <laughs> to the extreme, hey, the Lord is not gonna hear your pr your prayer, man. It's gonna be an abomination to him, man. man. Because you you lost the law, you didn't take the time out your day to put up a prayer, you know. Yeah, <laughs> to, to to uh put put the Lord first. You man. man. Come on now. Just so he's not going to hear you. Somebody. I was just going to say, just acknowledge that he woke you up this morning, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, Jake, Jake, man, don't don't cry to the Lord until his ass is in some hot water and some trouble, man. <laughs> I got a quick one, too. This is uh, Proverbs 1 and 28. It says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Mm. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You see? So, hey, the Lord, the Lord ain't going to be willing to, uh, uh, like you say, hearing those prayers, those cries, man, when 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 uh, the trouble comes, man. Mm -hmm. You know? There's going to be plenty of that. Man. We know the days and times is coming, man. You niggas is going to be howling for for, for the most high. <laughs> <laughs> you Jake, ooh, Jake, boy, you going to be screaming. Yeah. But, hey, for the, uh, we, you got to have a name, though. Yeah. You see, you had why, like the brother was just speaking on, while why you yet had liberty, why the why the Lord's hand was stretched out, you didn't you didn't consider, mm -hmm. you know. So hey hey hey, when 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 your time of calamity comes, man, the Lord is not going to hear you. Mm -hmm. Those prayers are going to be an abomination, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to be left to your own devices, man. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, that was it. I had. Okay, I got a real quick one. All right, we'll close on. <clears throat> this is uh this is Proverbs twenty one, <clears throat> Proverbs twenty one and verse thirteen. Whoso stoppeth his ear at the cry of the poor, mm. he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Mm. So, so hey, the Lord ain't gonna hear you, man. Mm. In that day, man, you gotta get it now, man. You gotta be uh, uh a one day one, man, with the with the Most High. Yeah, how about Shema Shai, man? Mm -hmm. Praying right now, man. Praying without ceasing. Matter of fact, let's go back and get that and close on that one. That's, that's just straight to the point, you know, sum up the lesson, man. Yeah. You know? This is First Thessalonians 5 and verse 17, and it reads, pray without ceasing. Done. So, hey, with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect once again. We want to give our praise, honor, and glory to. Yeah, how about by Shem, how about by Shem, Double honors to the elders, apostles, at GMS, salutations, and blessed to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.